If I catch her, I get to kiss her. But if I don't catch her, she gets to beat me. Okay, let's back up. In Kyrgyz culture, there are many fun traditional games, including this one, basically capturing the girl to give her a kiss. There's even a tradition where you can kidnap your wife and then ask her to marry you. It still happens in some parts of rural Kyrgyzstan today, however, it is generally unaccepted by the majority of the population. Needless to say, I'll be sticking to the catch the girl on the horse game. So this trip began by flying into the capital called Bishkek. Previously, a Soviet-owned city with cars and infrastructure from that time. Although now, it's buzzing with its own personality and culture. The people speak both Russian and Kyrgyz, and the youth now speak some English as they are learning it in school. So as we were checking out the city, it was really hot, so we took a dip in the fountains and checked out the changing of the guards. After our day in the capital, we arrived at our homestay, we were serenaded by some local music, and then went to bed in preparation for our trip to the mountains, where the games would take place. And then we witnessed what seemed to be a spiritual chant from the young boy, which seemed to send him into a trance. <laughs> so the next day we drove to the mountains, where we were taken aback by the beautiful landscapes, lakes, and best of all, the horses grazing in the area. These beautiful Kyrgyz horses are the ones that I will also be using to try and capture my kiss from a female. in Kyrgyzstan, you must, you must, must, must come here. It's the best. The valley, the whole way up here is stunning. It's just incredible. So natural, so beautiful. Kyrgyzstan is blowing my mind. All right, so last night we spent the night in a yurt, which was one of the most epic places I've ever slept in. They're so cozy with a wood fire running all night, and it's truly in the middle of nowhere. And today is the day for the Nomadic Games. I've never galloped a horse before, so I got out to do a little training ahead of time. The horses are so well treated here and live in this beautiful landscape where they get lots of food and rest and they love to run. And wow, was it ever exhilarating. My first time I've ever galloped, it was wild. The horses ran at maximum speed, and it was definitely scary because I was nervous I was going to fall off these beautiful beasts as they're flying so fast. After we were done galloping, we saw the lady from the farm milking one of the horses, so we asked if we could give it a try. Be, be confident. Be confident? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Firstly, I never even knew you could milk a horse. Although then I was quickly put in place when I realized that every mammal can actually be milked. Then we got to try the fermented milk, which is quite the prized possession here in Kyrgyzstan. And they believe that a little bit is good for digestion and health. So naturally, I had to try it. Horse milk has been fermenting for 12 hours and already it's turned like 2 to 5% alcohol. So it smells pungent. He's going to drink the whole thing. Whoa. <laughs> no, he can't do it. Oh, <laughs> oh it tastes like grass. It tastes very grassy. It tastes very what? Earthy and grassy, yeah? Yeah, it's like grassy. Oh, it tastes like... Finish? Mm. Ah, okay, down, 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 down,
So because Jordan has never drank alcohol before, we like to bug him and tell him what he'd be like if he drinks too much. He will do like the whole yeah, roller coaster, like cry, <laughs> laugh, be aggressive, <laughs> bottle everything up, fight, don't bottle up. <laughs> fight me, fight you. <laughs> wow, you really got a lot of alcoholics here talking. Trying to, <laughs> they're trying to project onto me. <laughs> guys. Oh, this is an angry face. This is guys, an angry face. Guys? It already has started. Guys. Guys. That, that's the angry face. Are you protected online? Well, today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. It creates an encrypted tunnel for your data, protects your online identity by hiding your IP address, and allows you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. Even though you might think you have nothing to hide, hackers can gain access to your passwords through open public Wi-Fi networks. Also, if you travel a lot like I do, then there are endless restrictions around the world preventing you from accessing your social media, your favorite websites, or even your favorite streaming services. For example, you can't do video calls in many of the countries in the Middle East. So join the VPN protection trend, get a NordVPN account, and have an encrypted VPN connection wherever you go. Sign up at nordvpn.com slash Mark Harrison, link in the description for your limited time discount today. All right, let's get back to the video. And finally, the time had arrived for the nomadic games. We began by witnessing Kyrgyzstan's national sport called Kokburo. This game is wild. Basically, they use a dead goat as the ball, and they try to deposit the goal in the other team's goal, which is a circle on the ground. The team that scores the most goat goals wins. Oh, he's going. He ditched, he ditched. Oh. Before the game, the goat is prayed over and humanely killed. During the game, the meat is tenderized while all the horses are stomping on it and the players are pulling at it. This goat is then used to feed all of the players and spectators once the game is over. Truly an offering for the grand feast. I just expecting the meat's going to be very delicious. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. Celebration. Yeah. Wow, that was so crazy to witness their national sport being played. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a, one of those moments where you're documenting the world and it's just like, wow, cultures are so different. And some people could look at it like it's really, really savage, but the animal is already dead. So like, we tenderize all the meat that we eat. So it's actually, I don't see it as anything as inhumane. The, the animal's clearly already been killed humanely. In the actual Nomad games, they don't use an animal because apparently it's, it's too much for TV to handle and people can misunderstand it very easily. So that's fair enough. And they use like a heavy stuffed animal, a 35 kg animal. But uh, here's the real thing out here in the yurts, in the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. Amazing. Okay, after learning a little bit about that national sport, it was finally, officially time for the game where we chased the girl for a kiss. And firstly, one of the Kyrgyz riders went. Oh my gosh, go, go! Oh, 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 oh. All right, he made that look pretty easy. That was actually sick. Loses reward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now my opportunity to catch a kiss has officially come. Time for me to engage in the nomadic games. If I don't catch Noemi, I get a beat it. Okay. Here we go. And that's an L. Whoa. All right, so that was officially a fail. It's time for me to get whipped. She gets a beating. Oh my god, my leg! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, my leg! One more on, uh, on the neck. Oh, that's it. <laughs> One more on the neck. Okay, even though that didn't look that bad, our skin is not as thick and tough as horses, so that stung and it left a mark. However, we decided to switch horses so we could let her chase me. You know, equal rights and all. I conveniently swerved off the route and was not caught. So, let's bring a little Western culture back into this game. Give me that whip. Okay. That had to hurt. It did. That had to hurt. But I was like ready for wow. such a party. Kirkus rules, baby. I got that out of context whip. Sick. <laughs> Use that for life. 10 years from now, go canceled. Ahead. Go ahead. 20 equal years rights. from now, canceled. Rights. No, on, you'll get canceled for trying to cancel me for not being equal rights. Well, there you have it. My failed attempt at trying to snatch a kiss. I guess it will take me more practice and skill to become a true Kyrgyz man. After a beautiful sunset, it is time to go eat the goat. Ooh. So 
So even though I failed the ultimate goal in Kyrgyzstan, we still had an amazing time here exploring the country. And before we headed out, we really want to check out the Eagles as it's a huge part of the traditional nomad culture. These eagles live up to 60 years old and the masters have them for the first 15 years of their life. After that, they're released back into the wild. These are one of the few animals that actually have no problem surviving post-domestication because they've been hunting their entire lives. Their eyesight and hunting ability is super impressive. Now look away if you don't like planet Earth and nature's cycle. Such an impressive instant kill. Alright, thanks for watching my Kyrgyzstan video, country number 76 on the road to 100. Perhaps I'll be able to kiss a girl in like Tajikistan or Mongolia or something. However, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye!